This is the second time I'm filming this video because I wasn't in focus the first time, so I'm really hoping I'm in focus this time or I will lose it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Justine, and today we are talking about, not we, I, I will be talking about um, crossing lines with patience. And this is something that happens very frequently, but I have two specific experiences, stories that I want to share with you guys. And I'm hoping that you guys will share your experiences as awkward as they may be with me down below, because I'm really interested to know your guys' story. Um, so yeah, let me know down below what your guys' are. So my first uh, story slash occurrence happened as a nursing student. It was in my first semester. It was my last week of internship and I was at an old folks home. And I had this patient for about a month now. So like, but like a month, like one day a week, so like four weeks. And um, I knew her pretty well. And she didn't have really any family here. Her daughter lived in New York, her husband had passed. And she didn't really have any friends out of, outside of the um, elders. Home. And she asked me if I could copy pictures for her. So someone had taken a picture of her and given her a copy, but she wanted multiple copies, I guess, I guess to send her, like, family. And she asked me if, if I could go do that for her. So she gave me the picture. She gave me, like, $5 or however much it was. And it was my last week, so I was never going to see her again. Um, but I was like, you know what? I feel bad for this poor lady. Like, she doesn't have any family. She has no one to do this for her. Like, I'll do it. It's not going to take, like, a lot of time. And it'll make her happy so whatever so I left that day and a few days later I went to the pharmacy made copies of the picture um and she had also asked me for uh because she had this like disgusting instant coffee but she asked me for like Tim Hortons which for you guys that don't live in Canada Tim Hortons is like kind of like a Starbucks but like cheaper and so she asked me to get her like a box of Tim Hortons instant coffee and I got went there there wasn't any so I just got her like a large coffee I made my way to the residence and when I got there she wasn't there she was in physio so I waited the coffee got cold anyway and then finally she came up and I gave her the picture and the coffee and we had like lunch together I think and um and then I left and she asked me this was like when my heart kind of broke she asked me like oh are you gonna come visit me next week and I think she thought that this was gonna be like a weekly thing and I was like oh my god like I finally I actually realized like what I got myself into by accepting to see her outside of my nursing student role which obviously ethically I shouldn't have done but as a novice nurse like you know you you don't really know I didn't know I felt bad for this woman so, yeah so at that point that's when I really realized oh shit maybe I shouldn't have done that maybe I should have said no and because you know explained to her it's it's outside of my boundaries I guess as like a nursing student and I, it's not appropriate whatever but I did it and it is what it is I never went back to see her and I feel I, I don't feel bad I just feel bad that I accepted but then again like I said you learn so that was my first story and then my second story which I I did tweet about this because I, it was so funny now this was uh, a few months a few months ago like in May June maybe and I was working so I wasn't an, a student I was actually working and I had this patient who was like in his 20s I think he was like 24 25 he was there for like vomiting he was my patient for like three or four days and I was doing an evening shift and I went in to check on him make sure he was okay and he had just gone out of the bathroom and he's like oh can you bring me another gown I think he showered or something I don't know and um so I bring him again goes in the bathroom he changes he comes out and he's like because we have like the gowns that have the tie at the top and the tie at the waist and he's like, hey I tied the top one he's like oh can you tie my waist I'm like, yeah sure and sure enough he wasn't wearing any underwear because I don't know and so I'm like oh okay I see how this is so <laughs> I tie his gown and then uh, I leave very awkwardly and then I come back around like 10 30 11 o'clock just to make sure he's okay my shift was almost done just want to make sure he was breathing he was fine and he's like on his phone just chilling and he's like oh uh, is there any way that uh, we could keep in contact after I leave because he was supposed to be discharged the next day but it wasn't sure and I was back the next day um and I was like oh, oh okay and I'm that type of person that like is really bad like at the moment to like find what to say like when people insult me I can't think of an insult right away like as a kid I was the worst at that I always got so teased and like insulted because I never knew what to say and I always thought about it and, like an hour later I'm like I should have said that but anyway so I didn't know what to say and I was like oh well I think it's like kind of inappropriate you know and he's like oh really is it I'm like yeah uh, he's like oh well you know like you could add I could add you on snapchat or facebook or something I'm like mm, boundaries bruh ethical ethics class and I, I really didn't know what to say so I just blurted out I'm like oh well we'll see if you're still here tomorrow as if like if he was still here I was gonna say yes and if he wasn't then you know whatever and I just left I like I never I didn't go back 
and the next day, sure enough, he was gone. Thank God. Um, and his parents loved me. Like, they gave me chocolate, and they thanked me. Her, His mom, like, constantly was hugging me, and, like, all these things. Like, they were so nice. And he was pretty cute, but, like... You know, that's when, like, the ethics comes in and you're like, eh, eh, I don't know. But I was like, no, I can't. And then again, I learned from that experience. I know now to never say yes to a patient asking me for my phone number or anything because that's just inappropriate. And as much as you might want to, it's just, it's really unethical. And you just, it's, it's no bueno, not good. So um, no matter how cute he might be, now I know I gotta say no. And I have to say it firmly with no hesitation to say, no, I'm sorry, I can't, it's inappropriate. And just walk away and just keep going, going about your day as if nothing happened. So I definitely learned from those two experiences and constantly learning. You know, there's always new things, new awkward situations, but we're always learning. I don't know, I guess you, that's how you grow as a nurse. You learn and you change your attitudes. I don't know. Anyway, so those are my two uh, main experiences with crossing the line with patients. Let me know, like I said, what your guys' are down below. I'm really, really anxious and interested to know what you guys have been through and all the awkward, funny situations. Like the naked button incidents. That was definitely something. So I think that's pretty much it. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. And have a great day. Bye, guys.